Hi everyone. So in today's video we are going to be discussing the sales dashboard or the sales summary dashboard. And the purpose of this dashboard is to give an end user or manager of such a high level overview and an in-depth detailed overview of what is happening with his or her sales or with the business's sales in that perspective. So the first page is just an overview page. <coughs> so first of all, we have to keep in consideration that everything on this page is automated. So if new invoices were to come in, the invoices total will rise. And if the sales rise, the value will rise. It will give you an indication of month to date invoices. It will give you the top sales by rep invoices with the amounts and of course the names. Top items sold month to date by the value. And of course the most profitable items for the month to date. As well as this graph here at the bottom is what we refer to as a matrix graph. It's just to indicate the top accounts month to date by sales amount. So who are my best clients and what are the amount that they sold? So to summarize the purpose of this page is just to give you a one snapshot of what is happening and where all the money is coming from. Moving along to the second page, it's the monthly trends page. So this is where the detail kicks in a bit. So the purpose of this page is to give you an overview on a monthly basis. What is my growth profit versus this year versus the prior year on a monthly basis? And as you can see, the months start from March to February, which means that we can set the financial years based on your month set. You can filter also by financial years. If you click on 2017, the data will change. If you go to the 2018 months to date, everything will change. The same will apply for the top two cards over here. Sales year to date versus prior year to date. Gross profit year to date versus prior year to date. We can also apply some conditional formatting towards it to indicate to you that there's been a 4% growth as of yet now versus last year. So you can keep track of your sales so it can show that there's a positive growth. So whatever we're doing, we need to keep doing it so we can keep the consistency going. Then what we can do further is we can have a look at the sales and we can have a look at the gross profit. This is all the financial years that the data can be retrieved from the financial system. And as you can see, we've got a very clean stagnant flow of all growth within the years. And this just indicates that we are doing things right, but perhaps we can do a few things different in order to get some of those spikes during the next financial year. Moving along to the year by year trends. It's the same as the monthly trends. It's just give you the same graph as the ones that I indicated just now with the years. It's just to give for more information based on your sales, based on your gross profit, cost of goods sold, and the quantity sold. It's just to see how your trends are moving along through the financial years. Very nice one on this page is, of course, the sales trends. The, perfect, the purpose of this, uh, this page is to give the person or the end user a nice overview of what is happening on a monthly basis based on the financial year chosen, a weekly basis as well as a daily basis. So if I were to choose a different month, let's go and choose August. As you can see, the weekly trends will change and the daily trends will change. I can go and choose a weekly number and we can have an indication here that the daily trends have changed. So I can go up until the daily level of what was sold. If anything was sold on the prior year, the system will indicate it to me. So I can see total sales, CFY stands for current financial year and total sales, LY stands for last year. So now we can see that this current financial year on the same exact day, we sold close to 300,000 and versus last year was 230,000. So we can see that there's been quite a growth. This is just to give a trend analysis so we can see which months, weeks and days are the best in sales. Moving along to the sales growth page. So the purpose of this page is to give an indication of where the outliers are pertaining to the relevant metrics given. So on this one, we can see that there's a prior year growth by salesperson, by item category or product category, um, prior year growth by account, which is our clients, and of course, prior growth by the area or the warehouse that was given towards the products that were sold. So if we have a look at the left-hand side top corner, we can see the prior year growth by salesperson. The purpose of this is to give me the outliers, which ones are truly performing, which ones are really the good focus areas. And on top, we can see that there's been an average sales growth in sales. We'll also give an indication. I can also variate between the various financial years. And very important, I can also choose on the monthly level. So if I want to choose for financial period 2018 for July, I can choose for July and the grass will change. If I change for choose for June, the grass will change. Let's move on to July. So over here, I can see that there's a little outlier over there. And we can see that there's a negative 100% growth. 
as this person has only sold 300, negative 300 rands, which means that there was perhaps a major credit note that came through for the month of July. Top outliers is this little purple one here, which is Kevin with a 95% growth for this current financial year for July versus last year. And of course, the same will apply for the various item categories. So if you have a look at this one, we can see that the line hardware is our true performer for that current month. Our true performing account, of course, looks like it is, yeah, it's Hifu Electric. And over here, we can see over the prior year growth by area, we can just see which warehouses are the true performers as well. Moving along to the account trends, this is our clients. This is just to give us a nice detailed overview of which clients are the good ones and which ones we need to start focusing on. So if we have a look at anyone, let's look at Agrico. We can see that the sales currently is 600,000 for this financial year. Uh, financial year last year was 800,000. And the gross profit, of course, this year and versus last year, it shows that there's a negative 23% growth. So you can also filter or you can sort by the highest growth and also versus the lowest growth. So if I were to focus on my red areas, of course, in order to make it better, I can see which clients had some massive decline. So I can see that this client had a 70% decline. We can actually go in there and figure out what happened. Why did they not purchase more? Perhaps we can upsell better. And from there, we've got the proper insight from this page in order to make that happen. Yes, you can, of course, filter with various financial years. And of course, here's a nice diagram here at the bottom or a nice visual to indicate just what the prior versus last year was or this year versus prior in the top 10 sales by account. Moving along to the last page, this is a very nice page as this indicates on a very in-depth level of products. So it's on the top, we can see that the total sales versus the total sales last year, we can see that there's quite a big growth, uh, growth in sales. You can see that there's a massive growth in profit, even though the sales are much higher, which means we're probably selling much more gross profit items, more highly gross profit items. On the right hand side, we've got our big filters here. We can filter by account, item group, and of course, representative names. So if I were to choose any representative, the data will change accordingly. As we can see, everything has changed here. I can retrace my steps and remove the filter. And then I can see that this is based on item group levels. So I can see for appliances, there was a very good growth. This one, Armored Cables, massive growth. As you can see that the gross profit there just skyrocketed there. And then we can also have a look at all the other things. But what's nice about this page is you can draw through. So if I were to go and have a look at the growth, let's go sort by the growth. I want to look at the decline growth. Let's look at the ones that are not really performing. So if I were to look at line hardware and I were to open it up, I can actually see which months were the poor months and which ones were the good months. So it looks like to me that we went from May, July, it looks like it's all scattered everywhere, but then in the beginning of the years and then later in the years, it looks like it's the bad months. So what this means for a manager or a salesperson is we can actually go and jump in and figure out where the problems are and perhaps solve this negative growth. I'd like to thank everybody for joining today's video. And of course, I would encourage everybody to please follow us and like our page on uh, YouTube as well as subscribe as there's going to be a lot of future videos coming ahead. And um, also go like our social media pages and follow us because we do actually have very, very nice content that you can read and follow. Thank you very much. Until next time.